Make it a promise. Stop fighting. Yes. Promise me. Today we are talking about how you're going to be able to restore your highlights like a pro in DaVinci Resolve. So let's just say you shoot something and it was overexposed and you want to recover the highlights. I'm going to show you how to do that. There are two main things I'd like you to know before we start. One, you need to be working in a color managed workflow. If you don't know anything about color management, you don't have any idea of what color management is, check out my videos. I have linked the video in the description. And also, you should make sure that anything that you are capturing is in camera. If you can't get the results in camera, you cannot replicate and get the results out of your editing software. So let's just say I'm shooting in an afternoon and the sky is completely blown out in my camera. There is no way, there is no way I repeat and there's no way, there's no magic bullet that is going to make you to be able to bring back the highlights or recover the highlights. So if you didn't shoot in camera or you didn't get the information in camera, there is no way you're going to get that information in your editing software. I have to make that clear and a color management workflow or a color managed workflow then we get into it so let me just let's get into it so i'll show you okay so welcome back and um you know in in the video i told you there are two main things you should check out for in order to make this thing work so there are two main things you should check out for which is you should make sure you're working in a color managed workflow if you don't know anything about color management i talked about it in my previous video link in the description and also you should make sure that all your footage and all the details you want to recover were shot in camera you got those information in camera if you didn't get if you didn't get those information there's no way you'll be able to restore it in davinci resolve so i have two main so i have two main examples of this same problem we have this and we have this so i'm going to convert this into accct i'm going to be working in a color managed workflow now so i come here go to color management accct i have everything set up and anytime you set up your color management with aces make sure you use space aware grading tools is checked and then if we slide this to the side and we click on save you realize that something happened you realize that there's something that has changed here so this is what happens when most beginners shoot their video and they are not able to get their information back and well they become discouraged this scene here i made sure everything in camera was clipped so you could realize that no matter how low we bring the exposure we are still not getting any information in the highlights which is to show that obviously there's no information in the highlights and if you look at the scopes here you realize that it is all clipped so there are no information in the highlights but when you check this out you realize that it's not a straight line you know there's a little bit of gradation in the scopes showing that we can get a little bit detail in the highlights so when i even bring down the gamma of this one of this footage you realize that you are getting some information in the highlight i'm going to be showing you how to you know let it be a bit more pronounced so let's let's just start so for this tutorial we're not going to be grading this one because there's no information in this one <laughs> that we need anyway yeah so i would come here i'll reset this node and for this tutorial i'll create four nodes so one two three so i already have the first one created so three nodes as well i'll create i'll label this one exposure exp and i will label this one highlights and i'll also label this one the hdr hd hdr and i would label this one curve curve curves curves yeah yeah so i'm going to be adjusting my base exposure you can start with the offset some people start with the offset and work on their way there but i usually start with the gamma that's what i'm used to anyway so i i just adjust my gamma a little bit i bring up my gain just a little bit you know just to get that look i'm then i think i think we have this i think what you have is okay but even with this you realize that there's a little bit of information in the highlights so which means when you work very well in the highlights you can restore it back so i can just select the highlights and i can drag this highlights 
bar and you realize that we get a lot of information in the highlights at the cost of contrast for the whole image so i won't do too much of the highlights i'll just push it just a little bit it darkens the image then i bring up my gamma just a little bit so i, I have this so what i'll do next is to go into the hdr when i go into the hdr this is what the hdr does the hdr is able to select specific light tones in your footage so we can select the specular which is the very very bright tones in your footage and you can select the highlights which is also the bright one so you can see it selected the sky you can select the light which is sort of the mid-tone you can select the shadow you get it you can select the dark and you can select the blacks we, which it's if it's completely gray and there's nothing it means that we don't have any of that tone in that footage so we don't have any blacks here so when you come here we would want to start with a specular when i select the specular i see some few specular highlights uh, there's no need to adjust them but i will just run it through then when you come to the highlight this is the cream of the crop okay so this is what you want to adjust so for the sky to stand out what you need to do is not to reduce the highlights but to create contrast how do we create contrast i simply create contrast in my footages most of the time by bringing the highlights up a little bit you know it's blowing out but there's no need to worry i'll come back to, uh, then i'll come to the light here i'll push the light back when we do that realize that it's a bit low contrast then i'll go to the shadows and i adjust the shadows as i see fit probably make the shadows a bit darker yeah it's a back and forth something you have to you know do this and go and readjust do and go and readjust so we have this but the image is dark so i get back to my lights yeah af after this um, maybe I'll, I'll adjust my global just a little bit and come back you know you just do some back and forth adjustment so you get what you want yeah so so i have this and i think i'm okay with this for demonstration purpose i think i'm okay with this so with this you can also you know boost the contrast a little bit just a little bit i don't think we need much contrast here just a little bit here and then with this done we can go back to our exposure now i have details in the highlights right i have the details i so desire in the highlights what i can do next is to smoothen or soften the highlights to make it look pleasing i don't want it to be too spiky that is where we get into the curves that is where we get into the curves so i can do that by coming here to the custom curve and making sure this link is selected when you, this link is selected you control all the control all the channels okay so y rgb so you can control everything but for it to for us to get the results we, we want we need to select this button here and go to editable splines so when you select it you don't see anything happen don't worry when you select the highlight part you realize there's another dot here you can drag click and drag the dots and you can have more control over the dots you know it can give you a certain control right so what i usually do is to click and bring it up a little bit you realize that it's blowing out the sky no need to worry then i'll click and drag it down a little bit just a little depending on what you want to get i can push this out just a little and what i need to do next is to press alt and click on the curve so when i click on the curve and hold alt realize that it snaps us onto a line and this is the line you're going to be using to adjust the curves or the smoothness of the highlight so you can push it down to make it a bit more smooth or bring it up to make it a bit more harsh and it's it's a very subtle effect you don't really see that much so we do a before and an after so bring it here yeah we have everything done for those who stay to the end of the video this is the secret the curve is the secret to soften your highlights so with this done we can click on all the nodes and hold ctrl d for the before and the after very very significant improvements so let's start from the beginning where we started with our exposure our highlights to adjust for the highlights a little bit our hdr to bring out the highlights more and our curve to smoothen the whole footage so there you go that's what i have for you today i hope you like it
yeah so i know you like this video thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out